In this video, we're going to talk about static electricity. So if we break down the two words, when we think about electricity, we're thinking about energy being transferred by charged particles. For example, cables transferring energy into your home. Inside your home, that electricity will be used to power a number of different appliances, including, for example, your lights. In this type of electricity, the charged particles move through a conductor. So metals are good conductors, so our wires are made out of metals and the charged particles move through the metal wires. However, the word static means not moving. So static electricity is still to do with charged particles, but in this case, they are not moving. In fact, static electricity is caused by a buildup of charge. So there are two types of charge, positive charge and negative charge. Absolutely everything in the world is made up of atoms and atoms contain charged particles. Atoms contain protons, which are positive, and these are found in the middle of the atom, in the nucleus. They also contain electrons, which are negatively charged, and these are found around the outside of the atom, and they also contain neutrons, which have no charge, and again, those are found in the nucleus which is in the centre of the atom. So when we're talking about positive and negative charge, if we look inside an atom, we will see positive charges as protons and negative charges, which are our electrons. As I said previously, everything is made up of atoms. So if we were to look inside this jumper, we would perhaps see a number of different atoms. For example, we could see the carbon atom. Atoms have the same number of protons as electrons, so they have no charge overall. But for static electricity, we need a build-up of charge. When you rub two insulating materials together, electrons will be transferred from one material to the other. For example, if we rub the balloon onto the jumper, this causes materials to be oppositely charged because electrons from one material will be transferred onto the other material during that rubbing process. It will depend on the material, but let's say, for example, that in this case, the electrons transfer from the jumper to the balloon. The balloon now has more electrons. And if you remember, electrons are negatively charged. So overall, the balloon will now be negatively charged. The jumper has lost negative charges, it has lost electrons, so now the jumper will be positively charged. So the balloon has a build-up of negative charge and the jumper has a build-up of positive charge. The negatively charged balloon will now be attracted to the positively charged jumper and will stick to the jumper. We said earlier there are two types of charge, positive charge and negative charge. Like we saw with the balloon in the jumper, opposite charges attract. So positive charges and negative charges will attract each other. And like charges, which means the same charge, will repel. For example, two positive charges will repel each other and two negative charges will repel each other. Lightning is caused by static electricity. When there is a build-up of positive and negative charge in the clouds, electrons jump from one charged area to another. This is the lightning that you see and the thunder that you hear. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video, then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at gccrevisionmonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.